Hello, my sweet friends. <laughs> um, how's everybody? I have some news for the weekend, just kind of some things to be aware of. We will give you definitive times, definitive instructions as we get closer to the weekend. We'll have that out there. We're gonna have a registration, so you'll get all of your definitive instructions dirt all over me from dish cutie cat that weekend but i wanted to kind of go ahead and give you just some ideas of things that are going to be happening when we first planned this weekend we thought we don't know if anybody's going to come first of all it's august how many people are going to come to the south in august we know that it's manageable and doable but we know that everybody thinks it's the temperature is hell and so we thought nobody's going to want to come and then we thought it's the end of the summer holiday. So people have already taken their vacations. They're not going to be available. Our goal number was like 25 people. We were going to be so excited if we could get 25 people to come to Natchez, Mississippi in August at the last minute. But that has nothing to do with the weekend. What I am here to tell you is when we thought there were going to be 25 of you, we thought we'll do everything together as one group. Now that there are a hundred of you, a hundred people can't go through Stanton Hall at the, at, a, at the same time. I mean, we could do that if we didn't care whether or not you could hear the tour guide and we didn't care whether or not you could see the architecture, but the whole point is to hear the tour guide and see the architecture. So we are going to have to break into three groups. I know my traveling solos are all gonna want to be together. I can see that families are going to want to be together. But if you are not, if you do not register with a family or friends, but you kind of have a group of people that are coming together, let us know so we can make sure you're in a group together. So what will happen is we will have a registration at eight o'clock on Friday morning. You will come in, you'll get your lanyard, your goodie bag, a map, your instructions, and you'll be assigned to your group. And so our first group, so we'll, we will meet at the Carriage House, which is the restaurant attached to Stanton Hall. The bar will be open, so you can have a mimosa, Bloody Mary, a cup of coffee, um, orange juice. You can walk the grounds of Stanton Hall that morning if you are not in Group A. Group A will probably start their tour at 8.30. Group B will start their tour probably at 8.45 or 9 o'clock. And then Group C will probably start theirs at 9.15 or 9.30. You can see we have some times that we've got to work on still. The last group to go through the house will be the group that is having brunch. So if you're having brunch, you can be sure you're gonna be in the last group to go through the house. But we are still gonna ask that everybody get there at eight o'clock because we have a lot of stuff to hand you and see you. I wanna assure you, Kevin and I are going to make sure that we spend time with each group. It's not like we're gonna be on group C's bus every time group C's bus goes somewhere. We're gonna work really hard to make sure that we get to spend time with everybody. So when our first group finishes their tour, they will immediately board their bus and go on to Longwood and they will start their Longwood tour. And then once they are done with Longwood, the bus will bring them back to Stanton Hall. In the meantime, group B will have gone to Longwood. In the meantime, group C probably will have started their brunch. Um, once we are done with brunch, group C will go to Longwood. So you are not gonna be in a packed claustrophobic, I have, I don't do well, Again, social anxiety disorder and kind of a generalized anxiety disorder. I don't do well in closed type groups and I don't want anybody to be uncomfortable in any of these places, okay? I don't want anybody to have a moment of like, oh, I have to get out of here right now. So we're trying to be very mindful of keeping it comfortable and keeping the flow good for you, okay? And that's kind of how everything is gonna rotate through the weekend. Um, we will have a list for you for your free time of all of the other homes that are open for tour. Uh, we're working on some discounts and stuff with partner retailers in the city. So if you wanna go shopping, you can get a little bit off of your purchase or a free gift with purchase or something. We're working on that for you. We will have all the information you could possibly want and or need. Now, we are about to have to close a couple of events because of booking. We are about to have to close Auburn because we are out of room like the fire marshal will only allow so many people in auburn so if you want to go to auburn and you have not clicked buy a ticket now if you are if you bought a package ticket you you're in auburn okay so don't worry but if you are an achazian and you wanted to swing by auburn that evening i need you to go in and click buy a ticket and probably today because we're about to have to close it we already are well over 100 people will come into that event through the evening and there's only we are also about to have to close the ghost tour and we're about to have to close the breakfast at the burn. Um, and that is just because of size and availability. So if you are interested in going to Auburn, 
uh, that free reception at Auburn, you bet get on the website today and click I'm going. If you're interested in a ghost tour, I would get on the website today and click buy your ticket. And if you want to go to the breakfast at the burn, I would get on the website today and buy your ticket. Anything else, Kevin, that we or they're close to having to close? Uh, we are going to leave the full package. Hey, <laughs> we're going to make the full package still available. So if you buy the full package, you will still be able to go to the ghost tour and get breakfast at the burn. We'll cram you in there. But individual, <laughs> individual tickets will be gone. Okay, did you get that? I hope so. I hope I pointed that camera in the right direction. Now, something we can talk about now that we've not been able to really talk about before is the Restoring Hope Reception is the Hope Farm Reception. It is on the grounds of Hope Farm in the courtyard. We are setting up in the courtyard. It's after dark. We're going to have fans. Don't worry. We're going to have lights. We're going to have candles. It's going to bring music, nice music, like Edith Piaf, French Cafe music, not loud music. Um, Wayne at the Carriage House is preparing the most magnificent spread for us that evening. There'll be cocktails. It's going to be an amazing event, and it is the official kickoff of the restoration of Hope Farm. It is a ticketed event unless you, the family members of Miss Ethel and the family members of uh, Miss Miller that still live in Natchez are receiving Please be our guest invitations. Otherwise, it is a ticketed event. So you will need to go on. And the only reason we're having to do it that way is because we need to know how many people we're feeding. Um, but it is the official kickoff of the restaurant. So if you are a Natchez friend and you do not get a paper invitation to this event in the next few days, if you're only going to come to one thing, to me, that would be the thing to come to because it is helping us celebrate the beginning of what is going to be an arduous, arduous journey and we know that and we're prepared for it um, and we're excited about it but if you're only going to come to one thing come to the hope farm restoring hope celebration with us